Well, hello everybody. This is Jimmy, not at Stewart Arts. Uh, Karen and I are doing a road trip visiting family, and today I'm in Germantown, Tennessee. And in my lap is not Augie, my shop dog, but Lizzie, my brother's shop dog, who is a surrogate dog for me today. And so I like her an awful lot, and I might adopt her. Anyways, over breakfast this morning, my dad pulled this thing out of the cabinet here, and it's something I made him uh, for his birthday here a couple years ago. And I just thought I would share that. It's something I made out of scrap material in the shop. And it's some of the earliest wood turning that I did on my lathe. A couple of years ago, I was into making small knives and uh, I made these little presentation box. This is just got a Sapelli lid here and I uh, inset uh, Buffalo nickel into the top here using a, a good old Forstner bit. And so the, the lid is just uh, gravity set into the top here and so inside the box is the little knife here and uh, this kind of gives some examples of some of the first turning that I did. Uh, the knife itself is just a uh, just a real simple little piece of uh, it's, I think it's some kind of a stainless uh, material I don't even know what it is just a piece of scrap. Cut the blade on the grinder and the sander. I'm not exactly a knife maker but these were kind of fun to do. Don't think you could skin out a buck on this but uh, you could probably skin out a maybe a field mouse or a, a gerbil maybe. And uh, so the finial is turned on my metal lathe uh, from aluminum and uh, it's actually got a full tang that goes through it. And then the handle itself is just stacked wood and that's some of the first wood turning I did on my wood lathe. So that's kind of how I started to get addicted to, uh, to turning wood. Now the box itself, I put a, uh, I made this a nice little presentation box and I uh, put some pieces in there so that the knife uh, would kind of float in it. And there's a couple of uh, neodymium, uh, neodymium, neodymium, neodymium magnets. Thank you, Karen. So the little magnets uh, stick to the blade uh, when you put it in the box there and uh, hold it into place. And uh, they really hold it in there very nicely. So I guess the fact that uh, the magnets uh, stick to the metal, it's probably not a, a pure stainless, it's just a high alloy carbon of some sort, I suppose. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure and leave a comment and a like, and if you're not a subscriber to the Stewart Arts channel, I sure hope you'll push that button. If you're ever in the neighborhood, down in Florida, stop by, I'll give you the nickel tour. So we're going to pour over the top of her to create the top half of this mold and then we'll flip it over and we'll make the second half. 